my goodness! Is there a hummingbird in my banana cake? No, not really, but there is a hummingbird in my bananas! Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I'm in a jungle, a tropical rainforest. No, I'm not. I'm in Gary's garden and I'm going to make a really quick update today on the hummingbirds. We are still in winter and guess what? Thousands upon thousands of hummingbirds have been coming through. No joke, I had to put more feeders out and I can't even keep up with it. As fast as I fill them, they empty them. But here is something I wanted to show you. Gary found it this morning. Can you see what's above my head? Right here? Right there? That's a bunch of bananas. I'm not making banana cake out of that. That's got a hummingbird nest in the bananas. And not only is there a hummingbird nest in there, but there's only one egg. And why is there one egg? Because the first one already hatched. So there's one egg and there's one baby. And that has been really something to see. That's a sight to see. It's literally six feet off the ground. You can look right into it. She's buzzing around and she doesn't want me here, so I want to make this quick. Wanted to let you know that there are nests everywhere. It's really kind of early. I have some, seen them do that before when we're going to have a really warm spring. So I've got hopes that we're going to have a really nice spring and I can start my vegetable garden. But we've got nests now on the house, already built. We've got nests in the pine trees, and they are nesting all over the yard already. And the one on my porch, I had covered that with plastic so she can come back in the spring. Well, I'm going to uncover that probably today or tomorrow because obviously they are ready to nest now. But I wanted to share with you, the hummingbirds are migrating. I'm sure the thousands that are coming through here right now are on their way, headed north. And they're going to be your way probably pretty soon in the next few months they'll stop here they'll feed they'll gain their weight on the flowers and everything and of course all the nectar i put out which is a quarter of a cup of sugar to one cup of water and i have been making no joke gallons and gallons a day can you imagine i fill them up I go to do something, I come back and they're screaming in the window. I put out more feeders, I put out more feeders on the deck, there's feeders in the garden, and they empty them so fast it's unbelievable. So they're passing through. I don't think they're all locals. Boy, I hope they keep going because literally I'm going through three, four gallons of hummingbird food a day. And at night they come in by the thousands because they feed and leave and every single seat on all the hummingbird feeders have been full. So I just wanted to share with you that beautiful nest, that little tiny nest built inside the bananas. It's a green cluster of bananas right above my head there, right here. And in there, can you see it's in there? In there is a tiny little nest. It's built with, looks like paper, and whatever this little hummingbird could find. And she put it together on the bananas. And I would say it's a wonderful place because if you look at it, you'll see that the leaf, the big banana leaf on the top is sheltering the nest. So even if we get a rainstorm, which they're saying right now, no rain for the next week or so, it, they won't get wet and they'll be out of that nest in about two weeks and flying around it's really quick they hatch like in two weeks they're in the nest for around two weeks sometimes a little longer depending on the babies they may stay a little longer and then they hang around here as mom builds another nest and gets ready last year i told you about the hummingbird that built two nests she built a nest and as soon as the eggs hatch she built an another nest next to it she raised those babies and she was raising four babies at the same time it was amazing and then of course i've had them on my kitchen window you've seen that two years in a row right there i'd have to swing the hummingbird feeder in fill the feeder because that's why she built it on the feeder she wanted me to fill that feeder so she had food for herself and she was thinking for her babies which was fine but as soon as the babies started to get a little size and their eyes started before they opened you know just before their eyes opened i stopped i put up extra feeders on the window but i no longer filled that one it wasn't safe because i felt that she may know me and it's fine with her but 
her babies don't know me, and you never want to scare a nest because if they go out too early, they could perish. If they don't find a place of shelter for mom to feed them, something could happen because they don't fly really good when they first come out. So I didn't want to touch the nest once the babies just before the babies had their eyes open. So up until then, I did go ahead and change that feeder. So she hasn't come back to nest on that hook anymore, but she nests around the house. And I wanted to share with you, the hummingbirds are starting to migrate. They're already nesting here in Southern California. And I think that means we're gonna have a great spring. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow and feed the hummingbirds if you've got. I've even got my brother feeding now. He took a little dollar feeder, wrapped the wire around, and he said the hummingbirds are sitting on that little wire that you wrap around the flowers because some of the ones from the dollar stores don't have a little perch. And they really do like to sit and eat. Do you want to stand and eat all the time? Well, they're flying. So there's so many ways that we'll get into hummingbird feeders on another time. Just wanted to share that nest with you because this is a first for us. We've never seen a nest built on bananas. Bye-bye, everybody.